Hello everyone and welcome back to Burst Talk. This is part four of seven of my thoughts on San Diego Comic Con 2022. Today we will be talking about the Tomorrowverse DC animated films that are slated to come out in 2023. Now I've only seen Batman The Long Halloween part one and two, uh, just the Justice Society movie and B Superman Man of Tomorrow. And those are pretty good films. Uh, the animation style looks pretty good. Like it looks like, um, I will say like early two thousands form of anime. I don't know. I don't know what I can put it on. Put my finger on of what um anime it reminds me of, but the animation is pretty good to say the least. At San Diego Comic Con, they premiered Green Lantern: Beware My Power, which is centered around. Uh, John Stewart's Green Lantern and other heroes. There are going to be a total of four films that are going to be coming out in 2023. So I will briefly go over them because that's what Comic Con did. So I will give as much information as possible of what these movies will be based on. Either they'll be based on, like, you know, graphic novels, or this is completely original from any comic or graphic novel that's ever been made. So without further ado, let's get into it. Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. This movie is based on the three issue miniseries that came out in 2000. Unlike TV shows and comics and movies that we set in the modern times, like, in, you know, in 2022 or whatever, this movie will be based in the 1920s. The story follows as return to Gotham, Bruce Wayne, as he first becomes Batman, has to deal with extraterrestrial threat or interdimensional beings, that is, in order to save Gotham. But how far would he have to go in order to save Gotham? We all know how this is going to end. How far would Bruce Wayne go to save the city that he loves, even though he should have left this shithole a long time ago? But hey, that's just me. We are also finally getting a Legion of Superheroes movie. These superheroes are based out of the 31st century that made many appearances in other medias like Young Justice, Smallville, Legion of Superheroes, the cartoon show, and Superman, the animated series. So now they have their own very feature length film that will mainly focus on them. Well, I will hope that they will just stay in the future, the 31st century, and fight whatever evil that, you know, that be getting their way of having peace and prosperity throughout the universe other than going back to the 21st century and stopping someone from killing uh, a known hero in the past like superman batman or wonder woman it has happened before trust me justice league world war will be the sequel to justice society world war ii as comic fans know, this will be adapted for many comic books and will actually see the adaptation of a known Justice League villain, Mongol. Mongol has only been seen twice, I believe. Well, no, actually three times. He was seen twice in the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited show. And he was featured in the movie Batman and Superman, Public Enemies, but he was mind controlled by Garad. So it didn't make it didn't make sense of like why Mongo was there. Like, what does he need with money? It's a whole thing. You have to see the movie for yourself. And the last one caught me by surprise. Justice League Ruby. Now, I don't know much about Ruby, but I as for what I can read and find on the Internet is that uh, this is a computer animated. It's an American computer animated web series produced by Ross Teeth. Rooster Teeth, I'm sorry. So from what I've read, this will be a completely original story. And the Justice League will be crossing over to their universe to save their universe. Or I guess, you know, whenever two teams meet, you know they got to fight before they have to come together to stop a common enemy. So I'm willing to see how that will play out. Like I said, I'm not a Ruby fan, never watched Ruby. I don't. I'm not saying that it's bad. I just never seen it, never watched it. But pretty much after I see this movie, I'm probably going to check it out. So what do you think about the next four DC animated films that's coming out? What are you looking forward to the most? I know for a fact that I'm looking forward to Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. But that's just me. Like I said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. 
that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.